Yo, 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 what is good, guys? It's your boy Dixon from Intuitive Designs. Today, I'll show you guys a quick and easy way to do the 3D chrome effect for your logo. I've made one tutorial like this last year and it actually went viral. But over the year, I've learned quite a bit on how to speed up this process and achieve the same result. Let's go. Right guys, before we begin, make sure you thumbs up for more videos like this. I give out free tutorials and assets all the time and this is the only way that you can support me back. Okay, now first we're gonna start off with one by one ratio file with the logo in the middle like this. Now the file size is 3000 by 3000 pixels at only 100 dpi since it's only digital use. And then you grab your logo and put it in the middle like this. Now this effect works with any logo, it doesn't matter as long as it's in black color. Alright, first we're gonna turn the background to black since it's in white color already. You can just invert the color by doing command I to invert the color from white to black. And then I'm gonna select the logo layer and then convert it to smart object. Now the first effect we're going to add to this layer is the bevel and emboss effect. We're not going to mess with the default settings too much. We're just going to bump the depth to 300, the size down to 30, and then 10 for soften. We're going to leave the rest of the settings untouched and then add a second effect which is the color overlay. And I'm going to choose a dark gray color somewhere around here is good. And then just click OK and then the base effect is now done. Let's rename this layer to logo base so we don't get confused. Next, we're going to copy this layer by hitting Command J and then rename this to 1. And then right click clear layer style because we want to start off with a clean slate. Uh, first, we're going to bring the fill value to 0 like this. And then go to the FX button and then select inner glow set the blend mode to difference now we're going to bump the opacity to 100 and then the size to 70 and then let's click on this gradient editor here to bring up the gradient options we're going to go with the purple gradient so click on this one right here now since the blend mode is set in difference it'll change the color in an interesting way you can test it all out if you want this one looks pretty cool uh kind of like this green um, shade right here but for this tutorial i'm going to go with purple 22 which is this one right here and then click ok Next effect is the bevel emboss. We're gonna bump the depth even higher all the way to 500, but set the size to 15 and then soften to one. Then I'm gonna change the glass contour to a ring, which is this one right here. Now this will drastically change the chrome look to the logo. As you can see here, you can play with the size some more if you want, depending on your liking, but 15 is good for me. Moving on, we're gonna copy the layer again, but a quick word from today's sponsor, Envato Elements. Envato Elements is the number one site where I browse for premium assets to use for my projects. Here you can find millions of stock assets such as stock photos, videos, graphics, musics, and so much more. With unlimited download, you have total freedom to experiment and create. Not only that, you can easily search for anything you want and quickly land on high quality image for your designs. My favorite from the site is their 3D assets library where they offer pretty much everything you need for your projects. You can even choose the angle of the object and download it as PNG file with transparent background. This is especially useful for someone like me who don't use any 3D softwares. With Envato Elements, you get unlimited download with only one subscription. So click the link below and get 50% off annually for just $16.50 per month. Let's get back to the video. Okay guys, so hit Command J to copy the layer. Um, you can see the color shifts drastically once again because of the different blend mode. It's a very fun blend mode that can sometimes surprise you. But yeah, let's rename this tool and then double click on the inner glow effects. And we're gonna change the gradient to pink 17, which is this one right here. And now you can see the color shifts once again into something way different. I really like this blue and red color combo. And if I play with the size bar, you can see that it changes uh, depending on the veil that I put in. But for this one, I'm gonna put 100 because I like that green spill on the edges of the symbol. 
so yeah then click on bivalent emboss and drop the depth all the way to 250 bump the size higher to 40 and then don't touch anything else and then just hit okay so guys this is the technique basically that you can use to find cool colors for your chrome logo um, you can see it here if i pick a different gradient the result becomes so much different this one especially looks very cool so yeah give this a try experiment with it and see it for yourself moving on with the tutorial we're gonna add a gradient background so just copy the background layer command j and then rename it to gradient go to the effects button and then select gradient overlay now we're gonna manually pick the colors ourselves first we're gonna add two more color points to the gradient bar so just click on it like this now we're gonna put 35 for the location of the first one and then 65 for the second one and then click on this blue one right here now we're gonna start off with the gradient from the left by setting it from dark tone to light tone so let's zoom in on the logo i'm gonna pick the darkest shade of color and then just hit ok then click on this white one now we're gonna pick the lightest color that you can find so maybe this light uh light blue or maybe this purple here i think i'm gonna go with this purple because it looks better in my opinion hit okay again next we're gonna add the bright red color to the mid tone so just pick the red right here it's pretty easy because it's pretty big now the second mid tone we're gonna add will be the vibrant blue so somewhere around here it's quite small actually i'm gonna pick a more vibrant one myself because uh like kind of like this one better and then just hit okay and everything now set the angle to 45 degree drop the scale to 75 because i like it better when the colors are not too far out now guys the last effect layer we're gonna add is optional you can skip this if you want but i find this to be the cherry on top so yeah command j to copy the layer rename it to three so that we don't get confused and then let's get rid of the inner glow by just dragging it to the bin here double click on the bevelin emboss reset a default now i'm going to set the style to outer bevel and then drop the size to 50 change the contour to this one right here i forgot its name but can kind of get the idea uh actually 40 for the size is better so just let's go with that then let's set the shadow mode to difference now if you change the color of the shadow to something bright and then it adds an interesting shade of color to the logo kind of like this now this one depends on you guys so just choose one that you like best um, you can see that there's a lot of choices that you can use there's no right or wrong for this but for me i'm just gonna go with this one and just hit okay final step is adding some noise so just create a new layer by clicking on this button here and then shift the lead to bring up the fill window make sure 50 percent gray is set for the content and then go to filter noise add noise and then set the amount to 20 percent and make sure it is gaussian for the distribution there we go and then let's set the blending mode to soft light final step is just drop the opacity to 40 percent and we're done so guys this effect is very useful so hope you guys can utilize it in your design from now on hope you learned something useful today subscribe so you don't miss out on my videos every single week see you in the next one